I think um, the set design probably influenced me a lot early on, um, and um, I got going uh, sort of on uh, on that. Um, I would say that over the last few years, I, I, I'm, I sort of look to that as an influence less than I used to. Um, but uh, definitely, like certainly, as the you know the paintings that are in this show, uh, are, you know, they find a lot of inspiration in the, in the theater. I would say, and so that was a time when when um, the influence was still quite strong. There's very um, theatrical aspect to the paintings. You know, they have these photographic sort of backdrops upon which I've sort of laid on these this, uh, these sort of fil filters, you know, these colors that sort of are almost like curtains and, in, in, uh, you know, folding in front of those backdrops. I mean, it's a, it's a dynamic it's, that comes straight out of the theater. So I would say that, uh, yeah, that, that the, uh, the influence is there for sure. A theatrical relation is one where you're inviting an audience to sort of relate to what's happening. And so for me, that size um, invites a person to sort of like physically relate to what's going on. I mean, there's a depth of uh, um, in, in the paintings um, that sort of invites an entrance, you know? It's sort of like the, the shape and size of a doorway. So, uh, I mean, for me, I mean, I, I've made paintings of that sort that were on a smaller scale and they're, and they're really entirely different just because there's no relation um, to the body. But once you get to, you know, in, in that series anyway, once you, you get to a certain scale and beyond, then all of a sudden you snap into this other relation, which is very visceral. It very, uh, it very much welcomes sort of entrance. It's a, a lot of uh, photography being used in people's paintings uh, in the last uh, number of years. And so um, I guess I just decided to, to try my hand at that and see what I could do, you know. Uh, it, it ends up being very laborious. I mean, you can imagine if you're looking at them, knowing that it's all rendered in paint, that uh, it takes a while and it does. It's probably uh, a week out of my life to like just get the photograph right, you know. But, uh, but after, it's funny because for me, uh, that, I, what I learned from that series of having had the idea and sort of making the paintings, I learned that the photograph was actually the part that I just slogged through. Uh, it wasn't that fun actually, copying a photograph isn't really that fun, uh, particularly when you're really trying to be uh, truthful to the image that in your hand, sitting in your hand. Um, it, that, that colorful stuff that came afterwards was the more interesting stuff for me. And, uh, and so it really kind of turned into something else at that point. Once the photograph was, uh, I finished painting the photograph, then, then it sort of, it shifted gears and turned into, that turned into something, I guess, more abstract, you know, the more, uh, you know, grid, there's a sort of like a snap, uh, the shapes sort of snap into uh, the grid with sharp horizontals and verticals. And uh, yeah, that's a different exercise altogether. I just wanted to make something really bright and colorful. The photo, it's funny because the photographs, um, you know, you can look at a photograph and see and, and think that it's a colorful photograph, but it turns out when you actually start painting and copying those colors on a canvas, there's like, there's like a million more grays and browns in a photograph than there is anything bright. And so I found, I found that in the rendering of them, that it was I, was, I was kind of stuck in this palette of like muddy, muddy colors. And so it was really, um, well, I mean, those are nice uh, variations to explore too. I mean, that was interesting. But when I came to the aspect, the second part of it, where I was going to apply that uh, the color, I had the choice, like what what I want. And I guess I just decided that you know something to really set the that part away and apart from the photograph was just, it was you know one way to do that is to change the palette into something very different. So. I wanted to use saturated colors. I, I just made it up as I went along. Um, I had a bright palette sitting in front of me and I kind of just went, went uh, where, where my imagination took me. I think I'm just interested in space and, and there's something about architecture, a measure of space. I mean, I grew up in the prairies, uh, like out in the countryside where, you know, um, obviously I lived in a house, but uh, wandering around, around outside, I mean, it was really just open sky. I think maybe wide spaces uh, are something that, uh, are, uh, I grew up with and, and have been interesting to me. And so this idea of cutting up space and boxing it up and, you know, I think is also consequently interesting just because it's, a, it's, a, it's the polar opposite experience of, of living in the countryside, you know. It's, it's, uh, it maybe, maybe, you know, having architecture in the paintings is my way of sort of coming to terms with the fact that I live in, a, live in boxes now, you know, whereas I, didn't, I never felt like that before.